a few days ago the annual unit holders meeting of parak parik mutual fund was held this is a one of its kind event in which unit holders no matter how small they are even if they have a single unit in the mutual fund scheme can come and ask questions about any stock that uh, is there in the portfolio or has been there in the portfolio and get answers uh, this was my second year moderating this event apart from being a financial journalist i am also a unit holder in parag parik uh, flexi cap and in the conservative hybrid fund and uh, i have been a unit holder since uh, in a significant way for myself since um 2020 um one interesting parallels often parag parik is compared with berkshire hathaway one interesting parallel is that berkshire hathaway since 1965 to 2022 delivered a cagr of 20% and parag parik flexi cap since in its inception in 2013 has delivered a cagr of almost 20% and recent years have also been recent uh, returns have also been quite good so over the past 3 years uh, the return has been around 23% and in the past 1 year it's been around 27% but the main message that rajiv thakkar the cio delivered in the meeting is to moderate expectations for future returns he told the audience that your guess is as good as mine he pointed to uh, the nifty uh, the nifty 50 itself delivering flat or negative returns over large periods of time um but despite this sobering message there are very few reasons to be pessimistic about parag parik flexi cap which is the flagship fund uh, the flagship scheme of this fund house uh, number 1 uh, often the argument is made that the alpha in this scheme came by holding us tech stocks like apple or alphabet but since february 2022 uh, because the mutual fund industry hit the rbi limit for overseas investment fresh money into such tech stocks has been stopped um but despite that despite that the alpha has persisted uh in fact the international holding in this scheme has come down to around 40 15% the other reason uh to be optimistic is that a lot of the returns in the mutual fund industry this year have come from a massive rally in mid and small cap stocks but parag parik mutual fund has achieved its returns without participating in that rally it has a mere 10-11% in mid and small cap stocks, but still manage to perform. So where are the returns coming from? It's just pure stock picking skill, and there is no reason to think that need that will go away anytime soon. Um, the fund management team has been there for a long time, Rajiv Thakkar for more than two decades, the other fund managers for for a decade or so. So um, so I'm quite optimistic about this fund house. I don't believe that 20% plus returns. are going to come next year or in the next few years but even if they manage to beat the benchmark deliver some alpha as long as they manage to uh, stay consistent in their integrity driven approach where they don't launch scheme after scheme to garner aum where they are very clear in their communication that's enough for me i don't want anything more uh, and it's of course a, a great privilege to see this uh, communication happening to see this event happening where you told us come together for the first time uh, you know once a year and 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 talk it all out um so hope to see you there next year thank you